you can see it folds around to the player in the cutoff position, that is, next to the button, and he opens with a raise. With Ace Jack suited in the small blind, I decide that's strong enough to call despite the positional disadvantage, given this player is in late position, and also I had some information. I'd observed this player play a hand previously that led me to believe that they were quite inexperienced. The big blind also calls and out comes a super wet and heavy 10 jack queen flop. I check, as does the BB, and the initial raiser fires a half pot continuation bet. I hesitantly make the call as, in addition to middle pair, we have a gut shot to the nut straight and a backdoor flush draw. The BB folds and we see a four of hearts on the turn. After checking, my opponent bets a small one quarter pot size bet. What do you suppose this bet means? Well, it's pretty small to be a value or protection bet, or a bluff for that matter. So. Perhaps it's a weakish information bet and the opponent has some sort of marginal hand. So given it's only 80 to now have the chance to win 320 with a hand that could still be best, I call. The river is the five of clubs and completes a flush. So we check and he bets again on the river. What could he have? There's no more cards to come out so for protection and information we can exclude. Is this a bluff or a value bet? Well, if it's a value bet, it's fairly small and given it's only going to cost us 100 to win 500 now in the pot, it's a fairly easy call. I make the call and our opponent shows us an ugly jack too. A poor starting hand giving him problems post-flop that he compounded by not logically thinking about the hand. On the flop, the bet is somewhat reasonable, given the number of draws, so he appears to be betting for value, protection and information. However, with two other players in the hand and such a dangerous board, I don't mind a check either. The turn when he bets again, well, there's not many worse hands that will call him, and the river which completes the flush leaves very few hands that he can extract value from. In fact, 9-10 and King-10 are perhaps the only hands that may contemplate a call on this river, but would probably still fold. The majority of hands on this river that can call will have him beat. This is the case where the player isn't thinking about the objectives of betting. He's just thinking I have a pair, so I'm betting because I was checked to. I like him. If we get in a pot together, feel free to play this way. I like building a big stack. But seriously, think about the objectives and make well thought out bets.